Oh, no. Stop. 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 This thing and its close relatives range over the coastal plains and up the Mississippi River Valley of the southeastern United States, eastern Texas, to the very southeastern shore of Virginia. The Florida cottonmouth is now throughout the state of Florida and on most of its barrier islands. This snake is still extremely common in some areas and often found in the platforms around the reptile discovery center. Because of their large size, copious amounts of venom, and disappearing of nature, cottonmouths can, in fact, be very dangerous. Although the snake is almost never fatal, a light can and does require antivenom and can result in significant tissue destruction and other complications if not treated properly. Cotton can grow up to six feet in length, although three and a half feet is about average for an adult. They make excellent captives, and many of the hundred or so housed at Metoxin were bred, born, and raised here at the lab. <coughs> they often live over 20 years in captivity, and they are excellent venom producers. As the snake is captured, it approaches the collecting glass. We sometimes move his head past the glass rapidly in an effort to give the snake some visual stimulus and induce a bite. Sometimes, as the snake bites, you can see the venom gland just behind the eye contract. This venom is used in the preparation of pro-fat antivenom, which is used to treat Bites from all of North America's pit poppers. Although true aggression in cotton mouths is rare, and most of the stories are exaggerated, the snake will sometimes stand his ground, and when approached, he will gape, open his mouth, and show the cotton white interior, giving the snake his name, cotton mouth, and warning the intruder not to get too close.